Good morning, it's Monday. Why am I saying good morning? It's half past four in the afternoon. That's ridiculous, isn't it? It is Monday, it's half past four in the afternoon. It has been another wet, windy, rainy August day with brief moments of sunshine and blue sky. Very brief. Anyway, it's the first time I've picked up the camera because Nothing exciting has happened. I've just been at my desk, video editing, and um, yeah, nothing very exciting at all today. So I haven't picked up um, the camera. Anyway, this has just arrived in the post, which is a brush that is apparently good for cream bronzer. Um, I have been struggling a bit with my what to use to apply my new Chanel bronzer which um, is that those of you who use it I know that at least a couple of you use the Chanel cream bronzer what brush do you use to apply it because I have struggled a bit I've found um, that any of my normal brushes that I would use have sort of scraped off the foundation underneath it so the, I've read up on the internet, I researched a bit, and it said that this is a very good, it's by the brand Refi, Refi, I think. Um, this is apparently very good. It's quite, um, what's the word? It's not, not dense, it's the opposite of dense. Um, so I'm feeling like that might work. I've been using this, which just is a nice shape. It's sort of a flattish brush. Um, which is the the shape I like for bronzer, but it's um yeah it's it's not brilliant in terms of getting the product onto my face without seeming to get rid of the layers of foundation or the layer of foundation underneath it. So I'm going to give this one a go. But let me know anybody who uses cream bronzer. What it doesn't have to be a Chanel one, but what you um, use to apply it because yes, we shall see with that tomorrow. Anyway, in fact. I might just give it a little go now, see what I think of it. It's got another brush at the other end as well, which is denser and smaller. Right, let's... Okay, it seems to pick up the product well. Look at that. Oh yes, that's good. That's what I wanted. That's perfect. I don't think you'll get the... the ideal impression of what I'm seeing in the mirror because you're at an angle to the light and very close to the window as well but yeah that's exactly what I wanted perfect that is that's good pleased with that um right I've got one side extra bronzed now let's put the rest on that side not that I'm going anywhere this evening so that won't make a difference Anyway, I'm just about to do this lip mask. I can't remember where it came from, probably in a box of some description. I ha I suffer, suffer, I hate the word suffer, I suffer with <laughs> very dry lips. And I have done for years and years and years. And they seem particularly dry at the moment. They're usually worse in the winter than in the summer, but they do feel particularly dry at the moment and they don't look nice at all so i've just given them a little scrub with my little pink you put it on your finger it's like a lip scrubber thing um i'm sure i've shown you before and i'm going to try this project lip mask so it says gently remove film from both sides of the gel mask and apply to dry and chapped lips leave for 15 to 20 minutes while i do my thing remove and pat lips to absorb excess serum right let's do it that's what it looks like just realized the downside of this is that i'm not gonna be able to talk am i perhaps you'll see that as an upside who knows right 15 minutes are up I don't think these things are much cop, you know. Kept I had to lie down flat because it kept sliding off my face. Um, I think they're a bit gimmicky, truth be told. But I feel a bit sticky. I mean, my lips look more moisturised, to be fair. We shall see if it lasts. I do feel... A little bit plumper and more moisturised, so I guess 
that's a good thing can't do any harm i suppose um so yes what's on this week hopefully i'm hoping it's going to be a quieter week we're away on saturday night with friends um but other than that it's a quiet week this week just homey week worky week not a lot going on um yeah nothing really to report in that regard so that's what's going on this week wouldn't it be nice to have a bit of summery weather really would really would fingers crossed that summer comes out it's, it feels like we're hurtling towards autumn very fast now um and i feel like i've been done out of the summer almost um right i'm going to go and get out the what we're having for dinner i'm doing a stir i'll show you actually well i'll take you right dinner tonight is pork stir fry so it's minced pork which i'm gonna fry with hang on a second it's over here with this which is a mixture of lime zest lime juice teriyaki sauce and a little splash of water so that's all gonna fry up in one pan and then i'm gonna soak these rice noodles and i've got two different stir fry mixtures from our not aldi asda this is edamame bean and broccoli and butternut squash monge too and chili i'm gonna fry those two up with the rice noodles added and some a mixture of sweet chili sauce some garlic crushed garlic and some chopped mint leaves it's um, a jamie oliver recipe that was on a tesco's email that i had last week and i thought it sounded quite nice so that's what we're having for dinner tonight it's one of those things that you can't cook until just before you want to eat it so i've just prepped it all and um i'll cook it once everybody's home looks pretty good smells pretty good just needs people to eat it now <laughs> Good morning, it's Tuesday. It's just after eight o'clock, I think maybe nearer half past eight. Eight eighteen. And it's the loveliest morning we've had for a while. Look at that blue sky up there. Isn't that glorious? I don't think it's due to stay like this all day. I think it's only a couple of hours this morning. But as it's like this, I thought I'd get out and do a lake walk while it's nice. Um Dinner went down well last night, the um, teriyaki pork and vegetable stir fry thing went down very well with both Ashley and William, which was good. I slept well last night as well. I've been going to sleep a little bit later, I haven't been sleeping well, lots on my mind, but um, I actually had a really good night's sleep last night and I woke up feeling quite energised this morning, so that was nice. Oh, the heron's here. I've not seen him for a while. Right out in the middle there. Can't see him through the camera. I'm just taking my sunglasses off. There he is. Beautiful. Sorry about my shaky camera work. And it's a bit of a lion this morning for ducks. Good morning, ducky ducks. I forgot to say, I didn't forget to say, I've just remembered to say, in fact, the lip mask, after I was quite scathing about it, has actually left my lips feeling quite nice. They felt quite nice and moisturized all evening. And I've just sort of thought about it this morning for the first time and they still feel really quite nice and moisturised so yay for the lip mask I'll have to fish it out the bin and see where I could get another one <laughs> because I didn't think it was going to be any good but in actual fact quite impressed this will always be one of my favourite views on this walk it's just so lovely and on a day like today just perfect look at how lovely that is it's just after three, quarter past three. And I've just realized that I haven't picked the camera up since first thing this morning, I don't think. Oh, a bit bright out there. I've just been working, nothing exciting at all today. I've been sitting at my desk. I have just feather dusted around the ceiling of the office because it looked a little bit cobwebby 
and I'm now going to feather dust the um, window, oh, one of the windows and the floor in the conservatory. I wanted to say thank you so much to for the lovely response, sorry it's dark in here, I'm just getting my hair over, the lovely response from all of you to the video I made about having a parent with dementia. Um, so many of you shared your own stories in the comments which were really interesting and thought-provoking and sad and just lovely sharing. It was one of my favourite comment sections in terms of the supportiveness and the empathy people were showing to each other and to me as well, which was nice, obviously, although that's not the primary concern. Um, yeah, it was just... So thank you for that. It was not a particularly easy or indeed enjoyable video to make, but it was one that I wanted to make and it was lovely that you received it well. So thank you for that. I also wanted to say thank you for your kind comments again on my little travel video I did of my trip away with my mum and my brother and his wife and Ashley to just locally to Devon. We had a really nice break and um, I know my filming wasn't up to much, but all very kind about it. And uh, several of you um, asked after my dad. Thank you for that. As you know, I don't talk about his dementia journey. I, it's his story and not my place to discuss it on the internet. Um, but I really did appreciate those of you who asked after him and um, hoped that he was okay. He is okay. He still has moments of um, happiness and laughter. Um, yeah, that's probably all I want to say on that at the moment. Um, okay, right. I'm going to go and... Shall I show you what I'm doing? Because this is mostly storage in here, this is where we did the little loo that I showed you there. That's the loo in there. Um, that I redecorated a while ago. I'll just show you again. I can't, in case I've got new people who don't remember, we've just redecorated in there and made it all a little bit smarter and nicer and gave it a zhuzh up. And frankly, the rest of this room needs doing as well. This is eBay stock storage and garden furniture storage and down here an extra kitchen that the previous owners put in. Um, it's a party room as well. We've had some parties here in here um had a great big housewarming party in here when we first moved in but um generally it's mostly storage we tend not to use it an awful lot other than ebay storage at the moment no particular reason for that but just that's how it is i mean eventually it needs this whole front section needs to be taken off and it needs re-roofing because it wasn't built brilliantly there's no foundations or anything so that all needs replacing so after the building work that's starting on the house at the end of this year um this will be yet another job <laughs> to be done it's never ending isn't it so anyway i was standing here this is my packing table where i pack all my ebay parcels standing here and just looking at the cobwebs up there and thinking need to do something about that so i'm going to Feather dust, wash it down, um, clean the window and all of that good stuff and make it look a little bit less manky because it looks manky. And it's done. Oh my God, that looks so much better. Just done this little corner, done all the floor and this, unfortunately this pat this was previously a patio and it's just, it needs reflooring really. It's, um, the paint peels off and it's just, not ideal really it's not not an ideal flooring situation but hey ho it's fine for what we use it for and i've just finished that corner and i feel good about it i know it's only a corner but hey corner's better than nothing isn't it so tonight's dinner is from jamie oliver's veg book and it is potato and mushroom al forno which looks delicious however william doesn't eat mushrooms so I'm doing him a separate vegetable one with just some mixed frozen veg with potatoes and onions. I'm also adding bacon because everything is better with bacon. 
and um, the bacon fat will flavour everything else as well. And I'm making it with eggs from William's girlfriend's chickens. He bought him a dozen eggs from um, the chickens, the, the fresh, fr oh, I can't speak. He bought home a dozen fresh eggs from her free range chickens. So I thought I'd um, use those to make this. So I've wedged, made wedges out of two onions and 750 grams of potatoes, recipes for four people. Um, and I'm just frying off some bacon lardons in here. And then I'm gonna add the bacon lardons and the bacon fat to the potatoes and onions, which are salt and peppered. And they're going into the onion, no, the onion? They're going into the oven for around 50 minutes to an hour for um, to cook before I add the rest of the stuff. Good morning, it's Wednesday. Haven't done any of this yet, about to go and do it. It's about nine o'clock, I think. Um, I just realised I completely forgot to show you last night's dinner after I cooked it. It was really good, it went down very well. Um, that's the leftovers of the mushroom one. I realise it doesn't look particularly appetising, but um, I, didn't, I did it with a rocket salad with like a lemony um, rocket salad. A packet of rockets, let's be honest, with a lemony sort of um, French dressing on it. And um, yeah, William liked his one with the mixed vegetables. I think it would have been less exciting without the bacon. I think the bacon definitely added to it. I didn't use loads, I just used one of those small cartons of half a thing of bacon lardons. Anyway, yeah, went down well, enjoyed it. Um, today, today is Wednesday. My battery light is flashing. Let's walk to the office and switch the battery um, while I'm talking to you. I am going to pop into town. I've got some parcels to pick up, one to go to the post office, and I want to get some foot cream. Loads of you guys gave me foot cream recommendations when I asked for them recently, so I'm going to pop into boots. I've got two that I've picked out. I'm hoping they stock them in my boots. Chances are, of course, that they won't, but we shall see. Um, I want to carry on with cleaning out in the conservatory, doing the windows and all the, um, what do you call the plastic bits in between the windows? There's a word for that in the frames, isn't it? Window frames? Maybe I just mean window frames. I felt like there was a more complicated word than that. Well, that cut me off in my prime, didn't it, so to speak? Um, yeah, I've got to um, carry on with that. And I thought we'd have a chat about TV later. I've been watching some quite good TV recently, so I thought we'd do a TV chat. Always looking for good things to watch. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Oh, some eBay stuff to do, obviously, as usual. Um, right, I'm going to put some makeup on, do my hair, and catch up with you in a bit. Ended up going and getting my car battery. Not car battery, the battery for the pressy, clicky it called pressy clicky thing you open the car with the dashboard has been telling me every time I turn the car on that the battery's going getting low on that so I went and got that sorted out as well so that's a good job done and I went to Boots and I got two foot creams because it was buy one get one half price I'm just piling up some candles to pop you on the top of so I can talk to you in there you're a little bit low but that will do I went these are both on the list of ones that you recommended CCS now a lot of you mentioned finding a foot cream with urea as one of the ingredients in um, which I think is something to do with urine, is it not? Or something that's in urine, but never mind. If it makes my feet soft, we can go with that. So I've got CCS foot cream, which was one of the recommendations. And then because it was buy one, get one half price, I also went for this one, which several people mentioned and Carla also mentioned recently, I think in a video. Um, so I will let you know how I get on with those. The other one that I've also kept on my list from the recommendations is a couple of people mentioned the Margaret Dabbs foot cream. I, it was more pricey that one, but I love Margaret Dabbs brand. I've used various things from her over the years. Best nail file I've ever used was a Margaret Dabbs one, in fact. But um, I digress, glass one. Um, but yeah, um, I've, I've kept that one on my list, but it's £20, which is quite spendy for a foot cream, isn't it? So I, I, that, that will, will be treat territory when I feel like treating myself. But I'll let you know how I get on with these two anyway. 
right the kettle is boiled so I'm now going to go and make a cup of coffee and edit Sunday's video just another update on my lips I did get the lip mask out of the bin or the lip mask packaging out of the bin my lips are still in really good condition they haven't got any sort of dry flaky bits or anything it's now I did it on Monday it's now Wednesday so I am actually much more impressed than I thought I was going to be with that I've actually ordered two more as well I found them online I'll put the link in in case anybody's interested they're only a couple of pounds each I think um and yeah I, I feel like I can feel a tiny patch of dryness just there but there's there were literally no flaky bits or anything at all and I didn't put any lip balm on last night normally I religiously fit I feel that they really need lip balm on and I just didn't at all the last two nights so very impressed by project lip mask I'm having a dilemma a dilemma indeed so my feather duster I love this feather duster it was um I think I think I got it from eBay um let's take it in because it's windy out here how do you clean a fit? It's like, it's not, it's, it's hard to, it's fleecy sort of stuff. And it's brilliant at picking up cobwebs. I love it. And it's microscopic or tele telescopic, not microscopic. So this comes out really long, which is great for my high ceilings. But um, how do you clean all the crap off it? I've done... I washed it in like fairy liquid and warm water and gave it a really good sort of just with my hands you know but it's still got loads of cobwebby crap in it how should i wash it i feel like i need a new one because it just which is ridiculous because you know it's only because i can't get the dirt out of it is there some magic way of cleaning feather dusters that i don't know about i guess if it was real feathers it would probably be easier maybe microfiber ones aren't any good i don't know but there we are dilemma of the afternoon i have had a good day i've had a productive day and also quite a relaxing last hour or so been watching a new sit watch the first episode of a new series on the telly hang on you might need another one to go there there we are okay so i was gonna, i've made a little note, list on my phone last night of things i've been watching on the telly that i wanted to talk to you about that i've really enjoyed um where is it? Here we are. Oh, I say a little list. It is little. There's only three things on it. But um, the first thing that Ashley and I watched, which we've really enjoyed on Amazon Prime, is Clarkson's Farm. Now, I know Jeremy Clarkson is a bit Marmite. Um, big Top Gear fans in this house, so we tend to quite like him. But I know he is a bit Marmitey. But he's ve he's very watchable in this i learned loads about farming loads about the countryside and it had such a good cast of very real characters and you saw a slightly different side to jeremy clarkson that less of the sarcasm and boys you know all lads together type thing so it was quite it was quite nice from that point of view but um yeah just a really interesting series and they're filming a second series of that apparently so highly recommend that William also watched it and enjoyed it so I think it would appear and our friends watched it and enjoyed it and her son and daughter daughter and son-in-law who are in their sort of 30s mid 30s also watched it and enjoyed it um so I think it would appeal to all age groups as well so that's one worth looking at I needed some, um, sorry, my mother's just texted me a photo. I'm gonna have to turn off and read it, see what she needs. Um, just a second, I'll be back. It was fine, it was just a photograph of um, some flowers that we sent her, my brother and I sent her for her anniversary, their, their anniversary <laughs> yesterday. And they'd been married 58 years yesterday, my parents say, so that's an achievement, isn't it? Um, anyway, back to TV. Um, I needed something trashy and mindless to watch and I watched Love is Blind on Netflix which is a it's kind of like I was going to say blind date but it's not at all it's American series reality 
and the premise of it is that couples meet each other without meeting each other they can talk through a wall so they can't see each other um and they sort of speed date. i think there's about 10 men and 10 women and they all meet each other and do speed dating through the wall. and then they continue meeting over a period of days or a week or something with the ones that they get on with if, if they match they continue meeting up with them still without seeing them and they agree to get engaged um without still without seeing any and um, each yeah. other and the ones who get engaged sorry um the ones, i should have turned my phone off I should have turned the sound off on my phone the ones who get engaged then see each other in real life and see they have i think four weeks before they get married and it's about those so it's the whole process from start to finish and it's trashy but very watchable <laughs> a bit love island day maybe one prong up from love island yeah i think yeah i would say it's one step up from love island but it was very enjoyable and what i liked about it as well was they caught up with them the last couple of episodes were two years on from the whole experiment catching up with them and seeing where they were now so that's worth a watch that was on netflix um i've just also watched a three-part series which is on the itv player called too close which is sort of a thrillery sort of psychological th no not quite a psychological thriller a thriller um with two female lead characters emily watson is one of them i like emily watson very much um and that was really good if you want something a bit shorter and not to invest too much time that's a three part so um three hour long episodes of that one so yeah that's what we've been watching recently ashley and i are currently watching um the second season of Startup, which is on Amazon Prime. And I have to have the subtitles on because the American, it's set in Miami and the diction is just appalling. I miss so much of it. <laughs> I need the subtitles on, which is hilarious, but quite sad, isn't it? Just not down with the youth these days, clearly. Um, but that one's really good as well we've enjoyed we very much enjoyed the first season i would say we we're only about three episodes into the second season but i would say that the second season's not quite as good there's three seasons of that one about 10 episodes each i think um and i've just started because i keep seeing it advertised and a couple of people i uh, follow on instagram have said how good it is cruel summer which is new out on i'm just looking because i've got it on pause um on Prime, I think, Amazon Prime, um, which is, again, a sort of mystery thriller, 10 parts, I think. Uh, I've only just, I've literally just watched the first episode, but it was really good. It's um, about two, a teenage girl who's obviously been accused of some crime, and then it goes backwards in time. It's sort of, I think it's triple time frame over a period of three years. You get... Um, now a year forward and another year forward or now a year backward and another year backward i'm explaining that incredibly badly but you get the gist worth the watch although i'm only one episode in i'm very excited to start the second episode of that what else have i done this afternoon i've also painted my toenails with one of my madam glam gel polishes i've just gone for something quite neutral this time which i'm quite pleased with um the weather has taken a turn they promised it wouldn't rain today but it has not loads but it has ashley and i are going out this evening um t probably just down to town just for something to eat and a couple of drinks wednesday is the new friday and all that as we used to say um and will's got his girlfriend coming over and he's cooking for her here she lives about an hour and a half away i would say so they don't see each other all the time he's he was up at hers at the weekend and then she's just coming down for an ad hoc night tonight so they'll have the house to themselves anyway while we're out so that's nice for them works well for everybody i think he said he was cooking burritos i'm a bit sorry i'm not going to be here because i quite fancy a burrito but hey ho anyway yes that's our plan for this evening Good morning, it's Thursday. I have just dropped off my parcels. I'm just looking to see if I've got something I can perch you on. So, there we are, that's better, isn't it? Than being so low down, having the steering wheel in your, in your face, in my shot. It's Thursday. It is, as you can probably see, dark, cloudy, raining. More delightful August weather. Not an inspiring day. Also, I had the worst night's sleep I can remember for 
ages and ages. We went out last night, um, went to the pub and bumped into a friend who we haven't seen since last summer, so that was nice. Had a chat with him and um, then William and his girlfriend came and joined us for a drink and then we went for something to eat. Just um, pizza, wasn't exciting, but um, it, it was a nice evening, you know. I didn't take, I did take my camera out with me, but because William and his girlfriend decided to join us, I didn't film anything because I've only met her a couple of times and I didn't really feel comfortable sticking a camera in her face, truth be told. Anyway, it was a nice evening. Um, ended up going to bed quite late because I was watching television late for me. I think it was almost midnight and uh, then I couldn't sleep and then when I did get to sleep I slept really badly. I kept waking up. I don't know whether it was because I had a couple of glasses of wine or just because it was out of my normal bedtime that I went, uh, I don't know, don't know but I was didn't sleep much, woke up really early, thought oh, I'll go for a walk because I've got a fuzzy head from not sleeping well and um, looked out and the weather was like this so I didn't go for a walk. Um, so plan for Thursday is I'm on my way to Tesco's now, I'm going to pick up the ingredients for a spag bowl for dinner, nice simple easy quick dinner. Then I'm going to go home, going to do some work, um, by the way excuse my unmade up face, I forgot to say that at the beginning, I am going to do a facial this afternoon my skin probably because i didn't sleep well my skin feels super dehydrated so i thought we're going away at the weekend and we're away saturday night with friends at a hotel and um so i won't be having a makeup free day over the weekend so i thought i'd have one today and um do some nice skincare and masks and things this afternoon so work this morning and probably a nana nap this afternoon to catch up on the sleep that I didn't have last night. I reckon I had about four hours sleep total. It's about ten past eleven I think and oh the struggle is real today. The struggle is real. I'm oh, filling up the kettle one-handed with the wrong hand. Not a good idea. There we are. Let's make some coffee. Had not a bad morning, just been sitting working and um, to some YouTube videos in the background and then got a nice email telling me my holiday flights to Greece have been cancelled from EasyJet. Thanks EasyJet. They've switched us on to a thoroughly unsuitable flight from Luton um, which is no good to us whatsoever because Luton is eight hours drive or something insane from here. Um, I mean it would be better than nothing but I'm going to leave that booking open at the moment because they've cancelled our flight. We can cancel it. We can cancel the replacement flight and get our money back. So that's good. I'm going to leave it open at the moment. I've also put some flights with BA on hold from Heathrow um, because I didn't want, because with that flight being cancelled, I thought perhaps, you know, there's going to be a lot of people looking for flights on that date. So um, presumably. So I wanted to get something booked, so yeah, I've booked some BA ones from Heathrow, so similar times to the other ones, so hopefully that will go ahead, but I'm going to leave both the options open, I think, at the moment, and just see what transpires. So that was fun, that was nice, just what you need when you're looking forward to your holidays, although unsurprising with COVID. Talking of COVID, is everybody still wearing masks? Just interested. I don't have any thoughts on whether you should, shouldn't or otherwise. I think you, you do you, as you know. Um, I am mostly still wearing a mask, but not all the time now. Um, if I'm in somewhere that's not crowded or busy and I'm not near any other people, I will probably not be wearing one now. Um, but like if I go to a supermarket and it's busy and stuff, I will put one on. Um, I'm noticing more people are wearing them less now. So I guess that's just, um, you know, what's gonna naturally happen. But um, yeah, anyway, um, I, I was leading on to saying something about COVID. What was I going Oh, I know what I was gonna say. I was going to say, I think I'm gonna put my, um, sit back up there a second. I'm gonna put my, vanilla creamer in today because I feel like I need something sweet even though it's sugar free and calorie free it's got that sweet hit that is just quite nice um, yes lovely perfect Ron you look very wet where have you been have you been outside in the rain have you been outside in the rain very wet cat here yes 
you got wet feet. Wet feet. What I was going to say was, do uh, something I was reflecting on as I went to Tesco because. I can't see my I want, things that you do differently since COVID that you can't see yourself ever giving up. Can definitely see myself giving up the mask um, as time goes by, and I think probably most people will. But the one thing that I think I will continue doing, regardless of whether COVID is still a thing or not, is sanitizing the trolley handle when I go into a supermarket. I uh, carry sanitizer with me as well, um, but they still have them outside the supermarkets at the moment. But just the thought of something getting the trolley and holding on to it where someone else has held on to it without it being sanitised fills me with horror now. That's really weird, isn't it? But um, I, it's something I never thought about before COVID, but I carry my own sanitizer, so I will continue to do that even when they take the sanitizer away from outside shops, although perhaps they never will do that. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's an interesting question. Is there anything that you didn't do before COVID that you think will become a permanent habit in your life? I think that's um, really interesting. Uh, right, I need to go and feed the cat and um, get on with my work. It's half past 12, I've worked all morning. I am going to give in and go to bed for a little while. I'm gonna have some lunch and go to bed, have a sleep. I feel absolutely hanging hanging in good news however just had a delivery from kate spade can we take a moment to appreciate the loveliness that is this sparkly holographic box how lovely is that um so i wanted when we went out for dinner last saturday night i switched to a smaller handbag like a little shoulder bag and i realized that my enormous purse that i usually carry if i put the the purse is too big to go in the bag basically i needed a smaller purse and why why this realization has never hit me previous to before now i don't know couldn't tell you but um i wanted just a small purse that i could switch to when i'm using a smaller bag which is generally of an evening so i got this in the kate spade sale just a small sparkly purse of loveliness it's described as navy but i would say it's more air force blue myself um and sort of almost like a pewter color the glittery bit but it's just perfect it's exactly what i wanted the right size and if you open it up you've got space for cards space for cash and a little zipped compartment as well which is what i wanted for coins just in case you need coins for parking or whatever you know so i'm really pleased with that and i was even more pleased because i got it in the sale the original price tag is in here which says 125 pounds i would not have spent 125 pounds on it i can tell you that for nothing reduced to it then got the outlet price on which was reduced to 79 pounds i paid 29 pounds in the sale plus three pounds delivery so i think that's pretty good good morning it's friday oh that light's not nice is it let's turn around like that it's another cloudy miserable august day it really feels like autumn is here um which is not good i, I haven't had summer yet <laughs> i need summer first Anyway, I've woken up feeling a little bit low today. I had a much better sleep last night. I don't know if I slept too long because I went to sleep quite early. I didn't wake up till seven. So maybe I'm just feeling a bit, uh, 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 I don't know. But I'm not feeling very motivated. I'm feeling a bit scatty and I can't settle to anything. And yeah, so that's not ideal because I wanted to get a load of eBay listing done today. But never mind, never mind. Um... What else do I want to say? What else do I want to say? Anyway, I'm going to, I think, as I'm feeling a bit, ugh, I might go out, I was thinking I might go out for a walk, but it feels quite unappealing at the moment because I don't really want to it looks as though it might be going to rain I don't really want to walk in the rain I've just put the makeup on I've got to film a video later um so yeah that was a whole list of excuses wasn't it for not going out for a walk I could always walk on the treadmill might do that but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab a bag for the charity shop of stuff that needs to leave my house 
um, drop that off and also take back this pile of library books which is here which is due back and um, yeah just get those two jobs done because that would be two good jobs done that need doing and then so sometimes when you just start and do a couple of bits that needs doing it sort of kickstarts you into doing more stuff doesn't it so that's sort of the plan i'm going to go and do that and then see how i feel when i get back right we are finishing this week off with what's in my bag i have been asked for what's in my bag and i just i can't do it as a standalone video i think it's the most boring thing to film ever also there's nothing of any great interest in my bag but i've been asked a couple of times so your wish is my command let's have a quick look at what's in my bag the bag itself is the recent bag, bag i recently got from new look which i'm very much enjoying it's a lovely good size looks much more expensive than it was and um lost my thread with that thought where was i going with that oh yeah i know what i was gonna say i got asked in the ladies at weatherspoons the other day where my bag was from because it was so nice so there's a recommendation right there right let me show you what i have in my bag i have not cleaned my bag out in anticipation of doing this video so um, we should just say now those were not in it but they were next to it that's my sunglasses um my purse which is Kate Spade. We talked about Kate Spade purses yesterday with all my cards and stuff in. Um, nothing very exciting in that. Money and cards. Um, this makeup and stuff like that. We can go through what's in that if you like. Quite a lot of stuff. A glass nail file in a holder. Came from Amazon, I think. I'll link the bag in the description box below. Um, I think, did I say that already? I don't know if I did or not, but in case you're interested. Um, hand cream, wild argan oil hand cream from the body shop. Um, this is paper soap, which I carry with me since COVID, really. Quite useful. It's just little. I got this from Yes Style. It's little tiny thin leaves like that if you go into a loo and there's no soap. It's quite a handy thing to have, a little plastic container. Um, hand gel, antibacterial hand gel. A lipstick, I think this was the, this is the L'Oreal um, Kate Moss collection. I said they did a load of colours um, named after famous people. This is not even Kate Moss, it's Eva, and I think that was Eva Longoria. Um, it's quite old quite old um that i don't know what that's a mint hand sanitizer but i don't think that's an antibacterial one um that came in a box um actually i'm gonna leave that out so i can look at it with my glasses and see if it is if it is or not paracetamol two different things of paracetamol there's one in that one and two in that one um nyx this is milky gloss lip gloss um some cnd rx nail stuff rescue rrx it's just one of those um brush things and you twist up the bottom and it's you paint it onto your nails it's a bit greasy so i don't know why i've got that in my bag to carry around with me but never mind a mac lipstick can we just admire the packaging of that how pretty is that and a mint flavored malibu lip balm a phone always in my bag a mask another zippy pouch with reusable shopping bags in i told you it was very exciting didn't i another mask another mask um my glasses case no sign of any glass oh yeah the glasses are in there glasses in a case let's put that back together um taxi card used tissue and a whole bunch of receipts and that is everything in my bag i told you it was very unexciting didn't i right i'm gonna sign off for the week i hope everybody's having a lovely weekend i will see you again next week and um, thanks very much for watching see you in the next one bye bye